We, we started the design of the um, Skylight House in 2009. Um, it's a terrace house which is located in, in Balmain. And the inner city fabric in Sydney is, is pretty well intact. And um, I think it's important to maintain the, the, the front facade, especially when it formed part of a continuation of a row of terraces. I think that's very, very important. And not only to, not only to maintain the, the terrace house facade, but also the form uh, of the, uh, of the, or the main body of the terrace house. Uh, I think you know, that, that's very, very important. Because what we were interested in is a counterpoint um, between you know, the traditional form, the traditional um, facade, and, and how that counterpoints, or how that is juxtaposed against a, a, quite, a, quite a contemporary interior. What we decided to do was to invert the terrace house. Traditionally, um, in a two-story terrace, you, know, you have the living rooms on the ground floor and the bedrooms on the top floor. And we basically flipped that. We put the living rooms on the top floor, uh, mainly to take advantage of the views um, towards Parramatta River, um, towards the front of the house, and also to take advantage of the sculptural roof forms, you know, uh, and uh, sort of sculptural skylights. Most terrace houses, you don't see the sky um, because your boundaries are built up, you know, houses are built up along the boundaries, so it's quite a rare experience. So we wanted, we wanted to be able to see the sky. Um, that was very important. And our general approach you know, during the design process was to really look at the house in section rather than the plan. Because it's all about the light coming down from the top, it's all about the vertical circulation as the living rooms are on the top floor rather than the ground floor. So as you enter through the front door, you, you enter into a three-storey height space, you know, top lit by the skylights, and then you rise up the flight of stairs. And as you reach the top of the stairs where the living room is, you know, you're, you're adjacent to, uh, to a lovely tree in the middle of the courtyard. So, and that's very sort of different from a traditional terrace house experience. It's, you know, the skylight isn't just a simple device which allows light to come in. It's a volumetric device which uplifts and, and sculpts the space at the same time. And by placing a sheet of glass um, on the outside of the opening, you eliminate the frame. So the frame doesn't interrupt the view between the, um, the inside and the outside. So um, in our case, what we were able to do by limiting the frame, you get the, the, the white um, roof form juxtaposed against the blue sky. So the experience is, is, is quite surreal. Uh, you can only achieve that through the detailing by placing the pane of glass on the outside of the opening. You know, I'm most happy with the way the light um, enters the house. And, and secondly, I'm, I'm very happy with the way we, we engage with the urban fabric and we respected the, um, the traditional terrace house form and the, and the facade. But at the same time, uh, we've introduced contemporary spaces uh, within the house. So it's that sort of juxtaposition um, which we're most happy with also.